You know my moves. You know I'm gonna wreck you. Surprise me if you can. Ah, uh, Spider-Man, you're so funny. Uh, hey guys, Mike Daniels back with another episode of Spider-Man. Um, so here's the funny thing about this fight. I wasn't expecting it because, again, this was a blind playthrough. And I remember this fight oh, oh so well because in the original commentary... <laughs> in the original, um... Hey, that finisher's copyrighted! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the banter in this fight, though. Um... I was so focused on this fight the first time I, I did it, um, and every other time I did it, uh, which I think I do it twice in this playthrough. Um, I could be wrong. I think it's only twice. I think I only found it twice. But, uh, the first time I did this, I was so focused because I realized very quickly how hard this fight was going to be, and I kind of was panicking because I was, um, I was doing, I was recording it live. So, well, recording it, doing the live commentary. So, like, I didn't want to screw it up because I didn't want to look like a schmuck, like I didn't know what I was doing. Because at this point in the game, I felt pretty confident in my combat skills. I wasn't dying as much as I was early on in the game, and there was a lot less cuts for the combat stuff, and, you know, all, all that jazz. And I just... This fight is seriously difficult. And I think part of the thing about... Um this game and the boss fights is that since the bosses don't have like a health bar, which I'm not saying they should, I'm just saying since they don't have a health bar, I have, you know, it was harder for me, it raises th the suspense for me, more or less. And so, which I mean, I think makes total sense um, a as a gameplay design to not have the bosses have like a health bar, or in some cases not really show how damaged they are until like you know, that inevitable cutscene part where, like, it progresses the fight to, like, another phase. Um, and one of the things that sucks about fighting Taskmaster is that... Here I thought I'd won, by the way. And I was like, oh, hey, cool. <laughs> he does that. <laughs> they must love you in Vegas. But, uh... Like... He doesn't ever show any, any, like, damage. He doesn't, like, have phases. He only has this one phase. So, it was much more difficult for me, especially considering I felt like I was doing really well. Spoilers, I lose this fight. Um, so, like, the longer the fight went on, the lower my health got, and, like, every attack he got as my health got lower and lower. And I would cut the, you know, because you can heal, which I do throughout this fight quite frequently, but like every time my health would get lower and lower, I'd start panicking more and more. And it was, it was rough. It was a rough experience for me. Um, especially because I know who Taskmaster is, because I'm a huge comic book fan. And I know, and I think he's even said this, like, in some of the conversations you have with him. I don't know if I got that particular conversation on, um, camera, but, like, he actually says he's, like, single-handedly been in the Avengers, like, all of them at once, which he has. And that's, that's crazy. So, you know, I didn't feel too awful losing this fight knowing that. But, uh, I can't imagine this fight's, like, on the hardest difficulty, though, because I, I started to play through the hardest difficulty, and then, actually, to get footage for the review, and, um, yeah, I, I don't know if I'll be doing an actual review, review of this game, because I've kind of already reviewed it just by playing it, and by talking about it. But yeah, here's where he beats me. So yeah. Do better at my challenges, then maybe you'll be able to keep up with me. What a jerk. So anyway, uh, now we're off to go help Mary Jane, which is uh, one of those stealth sequences. Which you know, after last episode where I had that awesome stealth sequence that I. You know, passing the first round, I was so proud of myself. This one does not go nearly as well. And I was going to edit most of the failures out of it, but it would have made the episode really, really short. So we're going to keep all of them in. MJ. 
Crap. Fifteen minutes earlier. Reach him. That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Stand is just somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Mm, good water. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. Okay, so this is one of those typical MJ like stealth scenes, and yeah, it, like I said, it, it, it doesn't go well for me. Um, Out of the way, fella. Huh? What was that noise? Gotta move now. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I made that joke in the live commentary too. But anyway, um, house guest must be Standish. So He's here somewhere. Notwithstanding um, my loss of Taskmaster and my utter failure on this, uh, <laughs> my numerous numerous failures, um, it should be fun to start discussing because I was looking at. Got it. Time to move. Um, Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. I was looking at how many episodes Stand basically no are are going to be left of this series, and there actually aren't that. Many, I knew it. Uh, since I've most of this uh, series is the main story and not so much the side stuff, <laughs> which this game took me forever to get through and beat, and a lot of it just didn't make uh, recording because it was I got the entire story, but it didn't make the recording stuff because I didn't want to. Uh, just bog you down with like unnecessary Convoy side missions that were Convoy really not necess bye necessarily bye. something that I needed to show. Because like all the headquarters and hideouts and stuff, I don't think you guys really want to see that stuff. I could be wrong, but I mean it's too late now because I don't have the I don't have it. So I heard if that's something you guys want to see in the future, you guys want to see the side stuff, like the side mission stuff for for future games that. I see something. Yeah, this is this where I, I, I totally screwed this up. I was like, uh, maybe I can just stick up here, and it just it all went badly very quickly. And you can see the panic, like, oh, crap. We're clear. Alpha team, stay alert. Hey, don't move. You saw nothing. You saw no. Nope, you totally did. Vision mailed. Um, anyway, so I, I was getting airtight by watching that. But, like, if you guys want to see more, like, side mission y stuff, especially when I play new games, because this game was new when I played it, um, they was putting, and were putting it on the channel. Like, I, I don't know if I was, like, one of the first people to start posting Let's Plays. I'm pretty sure I was of this series, um, or Let's Play episodes or anything remotely close to a Let's Play. But, uh, yeah, like. And moving him. Have to find out. And part, part of it was I was stuff. trying to take advantage of the popularity of this game being just released, and trying to. I, I was I was kind of farming for views. Not gonna lie, that was just a dumb mistake. Um, but it didn't really get me any more views than it would have otherwise. Um, because obviously as a as a YouTuber who's not well known at all, like not even known, even remotely. Uh, it's one of those things that it'd be kind of be nice to, you know, do some stuff that I think might get me a little bit of, you know, some sort of acknowledgement. Um, but and and you know, I, I didn't force myself to play it. It wasn't one of those things where I was like, ugh, I gotta play Spider-Man and record an episode today. Like it wasn't like that. It was much more. Um, how much, and it was like my first Let's Play I was doing, so I was like, I wasn't sure how much, I called shenanigans on that one at the time too, that one, I still think that one was kind of shenanigans, but, um, I wasn't sure how much to show, or how little to show, uh, I mean, obviously, if I'm gonna do a Let's Play, you guys wanna see the main story, which is 
pretty much exactly what this let's play is. It's a, it's a, it's the main story. And uh, How's it looking? I think five by five. As soon as it makes it better to play something that you want to play. Because I remember when I first was doing the recording for this series, I was also trying to do Arkham Knight 2. Um, and I had, like, no desire to play Arkham Knight. And what's really even more messed up is, like, I, I want to play Arkham Knight. Like, I want to see the story, because I want to see, like, the Arkham series kind of close out for me, even though I know that there was Arkham Origins, which I never played Arkham Origins either. Made it. But, yeah, like, I, I just, I don't enjoy Arkham Knight the same way I did Asylum and City. And... He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I, but at the same time, it's like, I, I want to see how it ends, because it's the last Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill, like, together. What was that? So, yeah, like, I, I don't know. Like, I just... Looks important. I, I can't stand how important the Batmobile is in that game, and I don't Dr. like Michael's the Batmobile mechanics in that game. I just don't. Which one. And it makes it so much harder to play. But I, I do intend to finish it. I can't promise you that I will. It's definitely one of those things I'm going to have to rewatch what I've already posted on it to see A, what was going on, because it's been so long since I played that game. Like, I would have no knowledge going back in of what was going on. I remember vague parts of the story, that's about it. Um, but I also have Horizon Zero Dawn to play through, which was lent to me by a buddy of mine. And. I would much rather play that because oh, that's a game I'm, I think I'd be a little more interested in. Um, I also want to play the DLCs of this game too and add that to the series. Like I, I'm not entirely sure if I would do that. I don't really, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that as soon as this series is done, or if it will be like one of those things where I focus on Minecraft for a few weeks and then go back to this game. I don't know. Like, I depend on again what you guys would want to see. If anyone gives any, you know, feedback as to what that would be. Like, if you guys want to see Spider-Man DLCs right after I finish this series and then do, um, like live com again for those, which I hope to never have the live com issue again. Charles, where is Doctor Morgan Michaels? He sent you. Me. No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. What? I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... Wait a second. What, that Charles? guy's voice sounds familiar. What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What the hell? He's not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time Wait, to go. No, he knows something. Uh. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. <laughs> MJ is not happy. Hang on, I'm actually... Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we... 
Not do this right now, please. Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Well, anyway. <laughs> Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. So, anyway, I, I recognize Charles Sanders' voice um, in that cutscene, and I thought it was Troy Baker, but it's not. I'm guessing it was Matthew Mercer. It didn't actually list on IMDb who did Charles Sanders' voice, but I did see Matthew Mercer in there, and now that I think about it, it was probably him. So... Yeah, I like Matt Mercer. He's a good voice actor. Spider-Man, we just caught a sniper stalking Mayor Osborne's chief of staff. I'm pretty sure there are other targets. Our perp had a map of the city with the courthouse circle. I'm on it. See if you can get more info out of our friend here, and contact me at this number. Okay, so... I need to hurry. The attack on the courthouse could come any second. I'm getting better at not talking whenever Spider-Man or someone's talking that's important to the anything I'm doing. But anyway, this is one of those side missions that I did I probably didn't have to show, but I'm showing it anyway. If the sniper sees me near the target, he'll take the shot. Only chance is to take out the gunman before he can fire. I actually really enjoyed this mission. Or these well these missions in general where you have to like, you know, do something remotely. Like, I know I said I didn't like unnecessary stealth missions. But this one's actually kind of fun. Nobody I enjoyed this one. Camper. <laughs> Nobody Spider likes a camper. We accessed the perp's phone. Found more names and locations. Looks like it's all going down within a matter of minutes. No pressure. Send me what you got. Multiple snipers, one Spider-Man. I need to move fast. <laughs> okay. Nobody's ever worked on Norman's campaign as a potential target now. That's one way to destroy Osborne, I guess. Make it so nobody wants to be around him. Um... I have to talk about Siren's little no one likes a camper comment. The guy was sniping, not camping. Those are two very different things. Just saying. And if you think otherwise you're wrong, you clearly don't know what a sniper actually does. Anyway, now where's um, the assassin? Nap time. The other thing I want to talk about real quick is you may have noticed I changed costumes in between episodes. Um, I was told that this suit looked really cool at night because the glowing um, green spider thingy on his chest uh, by a friend of mine, and he said you recommend that I use it for a while. I actually ended up not liking it, so I don't remember exactly how many episodes um, I wear this costume for, or how, or how long I wear this costume for. I, I don't recall it being very long, especially because I think I get the superior, like... Sleep it off. Not the superior Spider-Man outfit, but the the like the red and yellow like Target Tony safe. the Tony Stark I call it the Tony Stark suit um, that looks a lot like the Iron Man costume like the, the color scheme not the Iron Spider but the other one. Uh, so yeah, I I, th I know I think I actually ended up almost beating the game with that outfit because I really like that one. Sniper's gotta be around here somewhere. I, I it's not my favorite Spider-Man outfit. My favorite one is either Spider-Man Noir or the. Uh, Scarlet Spider, which I used Noir earlier in this game. I just wanted to use some costumes that I hadn't used. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I, I think watching that part back, I'm not sure if I was trying to get the finisher on him to show off the ability, or if I was, like, making a joke right there, but it did look kind of funny, like Spider-Man was messing with that guy. He says they'll execute them all if we don't let him go. We have a probable location based on cell phone towers. But if they see cops, they'll start shooting. Act like you're negotiating. Stall them. I'll take away their bargaining chips. Are you guys ready for more People failures? Because more, more failures are coming. The hostages. Are they dead? Um, the other thing I really kind of want to talk about in this episode, since we're not really doing anything major to the story, we're just kind of doing this little side mission, um, is... If they see me, they can kill all the hostages before I get close. Our demands are simple. Release our comrades, or the 
If I'm spotted, those hostages are dead. Gotta take out these guys quietly. I thought it was going so well. It didn't work. I, I think I realized what I was trying to do there. Um, I think I was trying to remote stick two guys together, and it just didn't work. You're in timeout. But anyway, uh, I I remember when this game came out, there was a lot of discussion about whether or not they were going to do like a Marvel video game universe, kind of did, like the cinematic universe. Um, and I Surprise. remember it being confirmed that that's what they were doing. I definitely know there's going to be a sequel to this game. And one of the things that I really want to see them do, particularly um, with, if they do, like, a Marvel universe is, like, a gaming universe, is I definitely want to see them do more like Oh, hey, it only took me one, two tries. I thought it took me one. I thought it took me more than one. Sorry. I wouldn't have two. But, um, I definitely want to see them bring like a co-op hey, to the series, especially to work with me instead of shooting at me, okay? With how this game ends, which I'm not going to spoil it because, again, I'm not sure if you've played this game or not, Peter, and I'm not going to spoil the ending of the game. But oh, definitely sorry. with how the game I mean, ends, it definitely leaves no it open cabs. for. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Definitely leaves it open for a, a co-op style game moving forward, I, and I really hope. They go that route because that would be really, really kind of cool. That's Miles' mom. Hello? Mr. Parker? It's Drio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice this or more therapy. He needs this. She just hates to feel like a victim, or be pitied. Gotcha, I'm the same way. I'll let Aunt May know, and I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. So, yeah, like, especially like with Miles being a character in this game, which I'd forgot he'd been introduced at this point, to be honest with you. Um, hey! Big fan. Why you looked at me? You're my kid's hero. <laughs> Apparently, I felt like saying hi to people. Yeah, um, it would be basically like a co-op game with, you know, Miles and Peter. Use your help. My roommate's been missing since the Halloween party. Okay, got a name? Last known location? His name's Carlos. I ran a facial recognition search across social media. Here, let me text you what I found. Smart. What's your name? Philip Chang. Okay, Philip. I'll find Carlos. If you get info on anyone else who's missing, let me know. Okay, looks like I need to find the location in this picture. I see the Statue of Liberty, so it's gotta be way south of here. Not close to the university. Probably the financial district. But, um... Yeah, so... Philip, I'm headed to where the picture was taken. How recent is it? Time stamped half an hour ago. Nice heuristics. You did that facial tracker on your own? Yeah, it's my thesis project. I'm hoping you'll help me land a job. If this works, you count on me for a reference. So, uh... This would be yeah. way south of ESU. Probably the financial district. Are you done talking now, Spider-Man? Can I talk? Thank you. I'm surprised I didn't cut that part out. Hmm. Or this... 
I think I just let this in because it's uh, under my half hour requirement, so yeah. Um, it's definitely something to, to look forward to. Like, I'm hoping for, like, me, like, a Gears of War style, where you don't always have to be, like, within close proximity of the person you're playing with, or you can do, like, two separate things. Like, Saints Row 2, I think, had a good example of the kind of co-op I like think would be there. best, where, like, you can both be off in two different parts of the city doing two different things. But if you want to start a story mission, like, you gotta go together. But, like, certain like side missions and... Lee must have corrupted them. Certain side missions and crimes and stuff happening throughout the city you could do yourself without having to need your co-op partner showing up to help you. Like, I think that would be kind of like a cool little mechanic. Like, there's so there's so much possibility, and this game was so good it's hard to imagine that they'd screw up a sequel. The only thing is, though, like, I would much rather than focus on the story and making a good game than focusing on multiplayer, as much as I would really love to see a multiplayer in the next Spider-Man game because of the fast. presence of Miles. Like, I don't, I would much rather than focus on having a decent single player experience, too. It's just one of those things where it'd be cool to play this kind of a game with my friends, but then again, that's what Lions 3 would be for, which is another game that's been announced and it's coming out. Um, unfortunately, as much as I would love to do, uh, Ultimate Alliance 3 series. That's the last of them. I don't have a capture card, so. What happened? Everything was fine, and then... So much anger. I couldn't think straight. It's over now. Though I'd stay off the internet for a while. Okay, guys, that's gonna bring us to about the end of the episode here. I uh, hope you guys really did enjoy it. Um, leave a like, rating, subscribe if you did. There's definitely, like I said, this this series is finally going to be finished here. Probably within... It probably won't even be... It'll probably be about the middle of next month. But there's really not that much left to do. If I did it every single day, it would take me less than three weeks. But with Minecraft and this alternating, it's going to be a little longer than that. But you guys enjoy it. Have a good one.